and welcome back to my channel, Living Life Loud. I'm Landis, and today we are going to be making duct tape wallets. And I am so excited because here's the catch, guys. Here's the catch. We are going to be watching my mom's YouTube tutorial on her duct tapes from like a long time ago. It was like about maybe five years ago. I'm not sure. But I have not watched this tutorial yet. And we are going to watch the tutorial and go step by step and make our duct tape wallets. So let's get right on to the video. Okay, so we found the video and we're going to head go ahead and start up the video and see what our first step is. It's just like all over the place. Let's start over. Yay. <laughs> if you'd like to see the 20 tapes that it took me the intro to introduce that tutorial to you, make sure to stay tuned at the end. Alright guys, today I am showing you how to make duct tape wallets. Those look okay. legit. Okay, so the first step, according to my lovely mother, is to get our foam and cut it um, seven inches wide so the US dollar bill can fit into our wallet. Okay, so now we're cutting our foam to seven inches wide and the next step. Wide so that you can fit money sideways in them. And then I just cover the inside and I always work from the inside out. So now we have to cover this whole part with duct tape. So we're gonna choose our duct tape and this will be the inside silver inside. So. We're just gonna cover this real quick. Now, our next step is we're gonna take the rest of our foam and we've got some uh, credit card like holders from duct tape and we are going to trace six of them. As I was tracing my foam, I got corrected and it's actually on paper. So I got this really cute striped paper and I traced six of the credit card um, holder thingies. Now I have cut out all six of my credit card holders. Why do I keep calling them credit card holders? It could be gift cards, like. I forgot to tell you, but you have to fold your wallet into thirds. So it's going to end up looking like this afterwards. Now that we've done that, let's see what the next step is. I've noticed that when there's cardstock on the inside, the credit cards slide a little bit better. So we're just gonna start by making the outsides hemmed off with this fabric tape. So I'm just gonna do that about six times and then the excess is it has to be there so that it holds better when we secure them down with another strip of duct tape. So I'm just gonna secure the ID holder and then we are going to clean it up by putting this half strip of duct tape constantly to hold. Okay, so I'm a little confused, but that's okay. That's a, what's a part of this challenge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first um, credit card holder thingy and we are going to cut a piece of fabric tape um, to cover the top, but go off a little bit on the side. Oh my gosh, those colors are so cute together. Love that. It's really cute. We take our fabric tape and we are just going to lay it on the top like this. So there is some facing that way. And we are going to fold the top over. Yes. Yes, that is how you do it. Okay. And then there's a little bit sticky left and you are going to place it on right here. Yes. Like that. And we are just gonna go keep going over it. Now I'm gonna take my purple polka dot fabric and I'm going to do the same thing. Now I got all my things taped on there. Now we are going to take our plastic part and we are going to finish the sides up with some fabric. We have finished our credit card holder and I just finished it up with some purple fabric tape and we are going to tape it on right here. Now I'm going to take this black tape and we're going to put a line all the way across and flip it on to 
the bag. We are done with our card holders. So here's our ID pocket and they'll just slide on into there. Let's see what our next step is. We're going to make a second pocket and we're going to take some paper and looks like cut out the whole side. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. So we have our paper cutted. Let's see what we got to do. So I'm just going to trace the bottom and finish the top off with the fabric because you'll also be putting stuff in and out of this. So you kind of want to. Okay, so we have to finish the top off with some fabric. As, they, as my mother just said. Her, we finished it off. Now what do we do? We... Here, now I'm just gonna cover one side with the duct tape again, and then just... Okay, so we're gonna cover it with duct tape, the matching duct tape that you use, so I'm gonna use the shiny duct tape because we use that for the inside. I am going to cut the bottom off because I cut it uneven, which is bad because I just eyeballed it. That's alright. Sometimes you can just eyeball. See how I did it in tutorial? Yeah, you traced it. That's alright. I did it! It's fine! Don't misrepresent my tutorial. I tell you how to do it right. Okay. We covered it with duct tape and we finished it off. And let's see what we got to do now. Just secure it on by wrapping the excess to the front. Like I said, the front is going to look a little crazy until we're finished with that. All right, so the inside is coming together pretty nicely. That's so cute. Okay, so now we're going to take... I was supposed to secure it, but that's all right. So we're going to tape it on to the back. Make it look good. Just take another piece. Hi. Just take another piece if you watch the tutorial and... Make sure it's secure on there. You want it more secure. I know. Than I know. That's what you're doing. Yes. What? This is my tutorial. We're going to secure it onto the back. Like so. This is so cool. I like it. So we secured it to the back. And like that. So now we have our little pocket, but we have to secure the side. I'm so happy. I'm gonna have a lit. Uh, duct tape wallet. Everybody's gonna be jealous. A wallet. Yeah, it's not even duct tape wallet, it's just a wallet. That's how cool it is. Alright, so we secured it, and I'm just gonna cut off these extra don't needs. Now we have our pocket right here. Ooh. So the inside of our wallet is almost done. I think it is done actually. Let's see. You'll notice that the bottom has a hole. We're going to do the snap. And I just like to use these magnetic snaps. And I just cut a very long strip and slide it in. And I guess it's just easier to watch than to describe what I'm doing. So just bend it and then snap it. The bend and snap. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. We don't have snaps, but I do have handy dandy magnets, which will work well. What she, what my. I keep saying she, like, I don't know this person. So I'm going to do this, so I just keep my magnet on real quick. And I am going to duct tape my magnet on. I'm going to take the same inside color that I used. Oh no, we're running out, guys. We just duct tape our magnet on there. It's looking cool. Now, I just secured it on, and we have our magnet here. It's looking cool. It's looking good. And so the inside of our duct tape wallet is done. Doing our next snap again, which is actually our magnet. So um, what we're going to do is we are going to take our outside and we're going to go one strip down like this. So we have our strip right here and I'm just going to bend this back and put our magnet on. We have to make sure it's the right way. Now. Rest of the bag, not the bag, 
the duct tape on. Now I am finished uh, putting my outside on and I love this pattern so much. Our last step is to finish the edges off. We are all done with our duct tape wallet. We, um, I love it so much and when you open it up we have the intro or the outro of my mother's video. So I have a tutorial for you from here. I am Auntie Tay. Um which some people say auntie and some people say auntie and either way I don't discriminate. I guess that even doesn't even let's start over. <laughs> I am Uber welcome <laughs> Monday hey guys welcome you want work better for you that work better for, is that better for you? It's me. Okay, there's like a mom walking, two kids in a stroller, one strap to her. Go mom. Okay, I'm showing you guys how to make wallets. That's the disclaimer right now. Okay, I'm making, well, hey guys, I'm telling I'm, I'm, why are your intro so short to me? Huh? Help me out here. Help me out. Help, help me out. Help a sister out. That's And that was her, um, and that was her great outro. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my great outro. It's a little better than that one, but thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and click the notification bell so you can see when I post my amazing videos. So, I hope you like my video. Bye!